Now that you've downloaded and installed InfraWorks 360, let's spend a minute talking about how to get the most out of your trial experience. We will begin by launching InfraWorks 360 and then clicking on the Try button. The standard trial length is 30 days. Now to use some of the exciting features and functionality in InfraWorks 360, you will need an Autodesk account. If you have one already, simply enter your login credentials and click Sign In. If you do not have one, click on the Need an Autodesk ID link. Creating an Autodesk ID is easy. Simply enter your name, email, as well as your desired ID and password. Now keep in mind lots and lots of folks are already using Autodesk IDs, so if you enter an ID that's already been taken, it will prompt you for a different one. Clicking on the Create an Account button completes the process and takes you right into InfraWorks 360. You will notice in the Specialize area that Autodesk Roadway Design and Autodesk Bridge Design have already been activated and are ready for you to start using. In addition, there are several very cool new preview features for you to explore. To activate any of these features, simply click on the switch to turn them on, accept the terms of use, and then click Close. These preview features include drainage design, model builder, and corridor optimization. Now don't forget that after changing any of these values, you should really restart InfraWorks 360 before attempting to use any of them. Finally, InfraWorks 360 includes cloud services, which allows you to publish your models and collaborate with others. If you would like to try this functionality, simply click the 30-day free trial link in the Collaborate section. Log in using your Autodesk ID and password. Once logged in, you can add InfraWorks 360 Cloud Services to your Autodesk ID by entering a name and clicking Create an Account. This account includes 25 gig of storage space and 30 days of collaboration services. Because this is a fully functional account, you can create your own users and groups, as well as start inviting users to participate in your designs. To see your newly created default group, click on the Sign Out button under Collaborate and then Sign Back In using your Autodesk ID. Since we have not yet restarted InfraWorks 360 from our previous changes, the system reminds us once again that it still needs to be done. InfraWorks 360 is now poised and ready for you to start creating beautiful, data-rich 3D models of your infrastructure designs. Now rather than me leaving you with a blank canvas, let's quickly use the Model Builder Preview to get you started. We'll begin by clicking on the Model Builder Preview link under Model. Enter a location in the United States you would like to work with, use your mouse wheel to zoom into your area of interest, and then give your model a name. In doing so, the Model Builder Cloud Service automatically creates a model for us using the available source data shown on the left. Of course, this can be further enhanced by adding some of your own data. The process ends when we click on Create Model. Roughly 15 minutes later, we'll receive an email notification telling us our model is ready for download, and when we come back to InfraWorks, we'll see it listed in our online model area. Clicking on the model and then clicking download adds it to our local model area and we can begin exploring. Well that's all for now. Enjoy your trial and please send us your feedback regarding your InfraWorks 360 trial experience.